I'm Kate Keaton. I'm Autumn Fox. And this, and this is, is the Rampage, Rampage News. News. See what's up in sports. At the For the Love of the Game tournament, the girls went two and one and the boys went one and two. And on Tuesday, the girls suffered a loss to Kalisburg while the boys were victorious over TCS. Here's some highlights from the games. In the tournament, the girls defeated McKinney Christian 54 to 48 and won against Sacred Heart in overtime 56 to 53. The girls finished third in the tournament. The boys dominated McKinney Christian 59 to 20 and the boys finished fourth overall. Brittany Lancaster was named tournament MVP and Robert Cowden was named to the boys all tournament team. I got a chance to talk with two of the freshman girls that are on varsity about their season. Here's what they had to say. So Brittany, you're a freshman and you're on the varsity girls basketball team. How does that feel? I feel like I've worked my way up there. I've tried really hard to get my position up there and I think everything I've done has paid off. Um, it feels great because uh, me and Brittany are the only two freshmen that have been on the varsity basketball team since Coach Gathra has been here. Do you feel any extra added pressure playing with the older girls? Yeah, there's always pressure on my shoulders because I am a freshman on varsity and he is expecting a lot out of me. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure. It was at first, but now it's really not. And what have you and Jessica been able to contribute to the team's success? Well, we have two new guards up there. I'm a shooting guard and she's a point guard, so it helps the speed. We have not given up each game and we don't want to lose because we feel that it would be our more pressure on us. According to the Mayans, the world is supposed to end on December 21st of 2012. Let's see what the students have to say. According to the Mayans, in one week, the world will end. <laughs> now, is that necessarily true? I went around and asked some students and teachers if they believe the world will end. Let's see what we found out in what might be our last interview. Do you believe that the world is going to end in a week? Negative. It might. No. Honestly, I do not. Totally. No. Only the zombie. No. What are you going to say to the people that do believe the world is going to end in a week? Someone has been uh, lying directly to your face. Check the Bible. There's nothing about somebody having a specific calendar. You still have your bills to pay. You should have done your homework. Now you're in big trouble. Well, the Mayans predicted the world was going to end on 12-21-12, but they did not count for leap years, so it should have technically ended 700 plus years ago. How are you going to prepare for this event? Um, I'll probably just sleep so that I can die in my sleep. Uh, I'm going to raid Walmart, Gander Mountain, and Academy. According to some, this might be our final week. Which means this will be our final broadcast. Thank you to those who have been loyal watchers. Merry Christmas. If, if we, we make, make it. it. Uh, no. Coach Arrington's class got a chance to learn how to fold a flag. Let's see what Kate found out. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty Kids have been pledging to the American flag for a very long time. What many of them do not realize is exactly what this pledge means. Coach Arrington has decided to bring meaning back to the flag by teaching kids flag folding skills and having them volunteer to raise and lower the flag each day. The first fold, you're always going to fold. The first one you fold the, from your left to the right over here. Okay, go ahead and take that corner. And now the subsequent folds are going to be from the folded side to the open side. Michael, what made you want to volunteer to do the rising and the taking down of the flag? It looked pretty fun to do and stuff. Um, I'm already in Boy Scouts and I know how to do it, so I just figured why not. So tell me, why is it so important to take the flag down and make sure it doesn't touch the ground? Because if it touches the ground, 
then it's like a huge dishonorment to all of the troops that are out doing things. Um, just it's patriotic. So uh, what made you want to start this? Uh, Mr. Reed actually wanted to try to find enough students to bring the flag up, put it up every day and take it down each day and I told him I would take that on having every freshman uh, in U.S. history had plenty of volunteers so uh, plus it's one of those things coming out of the military the flag just means a lot to me it really does I've seen it uh, draped over coffins and so you know uh, I just know the respect for the flag wanted to pass that on and uh, why do you think it's so important well again you know it's one of those things that beyond just a symbol of what we are I think it is who we are that flag when you travel the world and see all the other countries it definitely represents us and uh, I just love it, love the American flag. You'll see me during the Pledge of Allegiance always doing it, saying it proudly. What you also want at the end, if you've done it correctly, the red will be completely covered up by all blue, basically signifying going from day to night as you fold it up for the evening. When you get to this point here, you're going to tuck the last part in. But what you can do is one or the other of you, let's say if you had it, hold it like this here, you hold it like that there, and then you will take it, and you're going to tuck it in. He's got a firm grip on it. You're going to tuck in the outer edge into the first fold. And then you're going to sit there and adjust to where the red isn't showing. Okay, the apocalypse is here. You have 30 seconds to live. What do you do? <laughs> Let's check out the question of the week. Ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. What? <laughs> World's ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Hide. I don't know. Run. You are scaring me. <laughs> World's ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Take all my Christmas presents back and get my money back. Then go to Hawaii. World's ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Everything, go. <laughs> World's ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. A party. World's getting in 30 seconds, what do you do? Oh crap. Dinner! World's getting in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Robert. World's getting in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Mr. Justin! World's getting in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. Say goodbye? World's ending in 30 seconds, what do you do? Go. What would you do if the world was ending in 30 seconds? Go. Tell you to go away. Weatherman Dan! Dan the Weatherman here. Uh, another edition. I really don't know what to say today. I have no clue. I'm just ready to go on break. I know that. Um, you know, where are you Christmas? That's all I can hear in my head and on the speakers right now. Um, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I really hope I've been good enough to uh, get Santa Claus to come visit me. I don't know that I have been. We'll find out if we get there. Once again, reference to the mines. Um, where are you Christmas? kind of feel like the Grinch right now I don't know why uh heartbroken sorrow ready for Christmas I don't know that wraps it up for this uh 2012 edition this will be my last edition of 2012 we'll open it back up with 13 hopefully the minds are wrong you know I don't know I thought numbers were endless though so I don't see how the minds can be right. Merry Christmas. This is Dan the Weatherman out. Beautiful. Weatherman Dan! Choir was this Wednesday. That's about it. <laughs> this could be our last broadcast ever. See you guys in another live. <laughs> <laughs>